please subscribe to our channel, Pacific Front Untold, and be sure to leave a comment after watching a video. On October 13, 2016, Thailand and the world lost the third longest reigning monarch in modern history. King Humibul Aduyade of Thailand ascended the throne shortly after World War II and for over 70 years personified loyalty, hierarchy, and humility, characteristics that were used to define Thai statehood during his reign. He was the world's longest reigning monarch at the time of his death and loved by his people for his intelligence, selflessness, and grace. After the news of his passing at Siri Ra Hospital at the age of 88, Thai citizens mourned for an entire year by wearing black garments out of respect for their monarch. Over 12 million people came to pay respect to the king at his final resting place at the Grand Palace in Bangkok. For most, King Humibol was the only king they knew during their lifetime. Throughout his reign, which began on June 9, 1946, he witnessed the vast transformation of his country from an agricultural-based economy to a modern, industrialized one with a growing middle class. Even with limits on his direct power and constitutional role as the symbolic head of state, one cannot deny that King Humibol was well-respected and adored by his people. With a single gesture of soft words, he managed to defuse a coup by inviting the then-sitting Prime Minister, Priyam Tunsulananda, to stay at the royal palace. Again in 1992, he managed to defuse the political impasse between two opposing parties by inviting the leaders to his home and lecturing them that their political warfare was a danger to Thailand's stability. The king was not only a well-respected figure, but his skills as a mediator led to several peaceful outcomes in Thai political history. Additionally, the king championed many rural and agricultural development projects throughout the country. He promoted self-sufficiency and initiatives that focused on rural economic development. These projects included rebuilding and upgrading dams to water rice fields, establishing milk pasteurization plants, and sugarcane recycling for transformation into biofuel. His projects were later called the Royal Thai Projects and would later go on to become an important contributor to the United Nations International Development Goals. Until 1932, Thailand was ruled under an absolute monarchy. Under this political system, the king had full control over the judicial system, the appointment of both state and local officials, and overall policies that govern the nation. Two of the more well-known 19th century Thai kings during this period of absolute monarchy include King Chulalongkorn, who was known for his social reforms, including the abolition of slavery and the territorial concessions he negotiated to prevent the country from being colonized by the British and the French, and King Mongkut, who adopted and embraced scientific and cultural expansionism in the country and pursued trade and economic development. His life was later inaccurately recreated in the musical The King and I, and his unexpected death from malaria led to the reign of an underage prince supported by a regent. In 1932, reigning King Prajatipok inherited a volatile political climate coupled with the crippling economic repercussions of the Great Depression. On June 24, 1932, a small group of military forces and intellectuals overthrew the country's absolute monarchy in a bloodless coup. The group enacted the 1932 Constitution, which severely limited King Prajatipok's power to that of a mere symbolic figurehead. They also created the Kahana Radsdorn, or the People's Party, which became the first political party in Thai history. When King Prajatipok abdicated the throne in 1935 after disagreements with the government, at the orders of the new cabinet, the crown was handed down on March 2, 1935, to the king's nephew, Ananda Mahidol, who was only 10 years old at the time. King Ananda was born in Heidelberg, Germany, on September 20, 1925. He was the first king in Thai history to be born outside of Thailand. His father died when he was just four years old, so his mother took it upon herself as a widow to raise him and brother and sister alone. At the time Ananda was appointed king, the family was living in Switzerland 
due to the unstable and unpredictable political climate in Thailand and growing hostilities with Imperial Japan. In 1938, 13-year-old King Ananda visited his country for the first time as king. After the end of World War II, King Ananda officially returned to Thailand with his family and quickly won the hearts of the Thai people, who had been longing for a king since the onslaught of the Second World War. One of his most memorable acts included diffusing the social post-war tensions between ethnic Chinese and Thais in Samfang Lane in Bangkok's Chinatown. These traits of observation, sympathy, and mediation would later be adopted by his brother, King Humibol. On June 9, 1946, tragedy struck the royal family as King Ananda was found deceased in his bed under mysterious circumstances. He was 20 years old and the throne remained vacant until the end of World War II when King Humibol, at the age of 18, inherited the seat. During the time the two princes were out of the country, Thailand had allied with both the Axis and Allied powers. The former, due to political pressures both internally and externally, but the Thai regent refused to sign a declaration declaring war on the Allies, and later invalidated the war declaration made by then Prime Minister Pibol Songkram. When Thailand joined the Allies, it funneled secret information to both the U.S. Office of Strategic Services and British Intelligence, an act that would lead to the pardoning of Thailand for its wartime acts. By May 5, 1950, King Humibol had taken his rightful seat as heir to the Thai throne and was crowned the ninth king of the Takri dynasty. While King Humibol and other Thai kings are now part of history, they live on in the hearts of their people, and it is important for both Thais and foreigners alike to remember their lasting impact and legacy in Thailand. Long live the king!